Emmanuel Macron's legendary luck has fallen foul of his look. The Elysee Palace admitted yesterday that France's youngest leader since Napoleon spent €26,000 on cosmetic services in his first three months in office. Why, one wonders, does a 39-year-old president need to spend more than €250 Euros a day on makeup and makeup artists? It is not as if Macron has made multiple appearances on television or in public. Macron keeps up appearances with €26,000 makeup bill since may read more. Previous presidents spent far more on their hair and faces, the palace points out. Yes, but Nicolas Sarkozy and François Hollande got out more and gave more media interviews. Macron has been a rather insane president, deliberately so. He set out in May to revive the Olympian conception of the French presidency devised by Charles de Gaulle. He wanted to differentiate himself from Sarkozy, too frantic, and Hollande, too chummy. He would be a Jupiterian president, in command but not responsible for events, dear boy, events. He would not appear at every helicopter crash, Sarko, or constantly pop up on the TV news, Hollande. This grandfatherly pose worked well for de Gaulle in his 70s but not for a step-grandfather still in his late 30s. Macron's approval rating has fallen in three months to around 36 percent, further and faster than Donald Trump's or those of any recent newly elected French president. The makeup story may seem trivial in itself but it catches Macron on his weaker side. He was already dismissed by non-believers as a poser, as a vain young man in a hurry, rather than a pragmatic messiah capable of reforming France and rescuing Europe. The bill, mostly the cost of hiring hairdressers and makeup artists for his foreign visits, is modest compared with the beauty budget of a top actor or supermodel.